Welcome to Qt Learning Channel. In this lecture, we will discuss the caustic stress corrosion cracking, caustic embrittlement. Description of damage. Caustic stress corrosion cracking is characterized by surface initiated cracks that occur in piping and equipment exposed to caustic alkaline hydroxide solutions at elevated temperature primarily adjacent to non-post weld heat treatment welds it is a form of alkaline stress corrosion cracking as illustrated in figures Cracking initiating on the inside surface of a non-stress relieved carbon steel heat exchanger. Bend after 8 years in 15% to 20% caustic service at 140 degrees Fahrenheit to 240 degrees Fahrenheit. And photomicrograph of a crack in the tube shown in left figure. Please note that the temperature above which caustic stress corrosion cracking occurs depends on the concentration of the caustic solution. Affected materials Carbon steel, low alloy steels, and 300 series stainless steel are susceptible. Duplex stainless steels are also susceptible, but have shown improved resistance compared to the 300 series stainless steel. Nickel-based alloys are more resistant. Critical factors Susceptibility to caustic stress corrosion cracking in Caustic soda and caustic potash solutions is a function of caustic strength, metal temperature, and stress level. Cracking can occur at low caustic levels. If a concentrating mechanism is present, in such cases, caustic concentrations of 50 to 100 parts per million are sufficient to cause cracking. Crack propagation rates increase dramatically with temperature and cracks can grow through wall in a matter of hours during temperature excursions, especially in concentrated caustic ore if conditions promote caustic concentration. Special care must be taken with steam tracing ore heat tracing design as well as steam out of non-post-weld heat treatment piping and equipment as illustrated in figure recommended operating limits for carbon steel in caustic service increasing caustic concentration and increasing temperature Increase the likelihood and rate of cracking. Conditions likely to result in cracking have been established through plant experience and are presented in figure. Thermal stress relief, PWHT, is effective in preventing caustic stress corrosion cracking. Contaminants in the caustic solution, especially sulfides, regardless of concentration, will increase the likelihood of stress corrosion cracking. In non-PWHT at carbon steel, including in the lower temperature area, area A, in figure. Affected units or equipment. Caustic stress corrosion cracking can occur in 
non-stress relieved piping and equipment that handles caustic including hydrogen sulfide and mercaptan removal units as well as equipment that uses caustic for neutralization in sulfuric acid alkylation units and hydrofluoric acid alkylation units failures have occurred in improperly heat traced piping or equipment as well as heating coils and other heat transfer equipment caustic stress corrosion cracking can occur in equipment as the result of steam cleaning after being in caustic service Appearance or morphology of damage As illustrated in figures Caustic stress corrosion cracking typically Propagates parallel to the weld in adjacent base metal For example In the zone of highest welding residual stress But can also occur in the weld deposit or heat affected zone and can be transverse to the weld. As illustrated in figures, cracking in 300 series SS is typically transgranular and is very difficult to distinguish from chloride stress corrosion cracking. As illustrated in figures, caustic stress corrosion cracking of nickel-based alloys has been observed as either intergranular or transgranular. Cracks can be confirmed through metallographic examination as illustrated in figure cracks are typically branched and predominantly intergranular cracking that occurs in as welded carbon steel typically appears as a network of very fine oxide filled cracks remember that Caustic stress corrosion cracking of carbon steel is typically intergranular. Caustic stress corrosion cracking of 300 series stainless steel is typically transgranular and caustic stress corrosion cracking of nickel based alloys has been observed as either intergranular or transgranular. Prevention mitigation cracking can be effectively prevented by means of a stress relieving heat treatment for example post weld heat treatment a heat treatment at 1150 degrees fahrenheit minimum with a minimum holding time of one hour is considered an effective stress relieving heat treatment for carbon steel the same requirement applies to repair welds and to internal and external attachment welds. 300 series stainless steel offer little advantage in resistance to cracking over carbon steel. Nickel based alloys are more resistant to cracking and may be required at higher temperatures and or caustic concentrations prevention mitigation cracking can be effectively prevented by means of a stress relieving heat treatment for example post weld heat treatment 
A heat treatment at 1150 degrees Fahrenheit minimum with a minimum holding time of one hour is considered an effective stress relieving heat treatment. For carbon steel, the same requirement applies to repair welds and to internal and external attachment welds. 300 series stainless steel offer little advantage in resistance to cracking over carbon steel. Nickel-based alloys are more resistant to cracking and may be required at higher temperatures and or caustic concentrations. Steam out of non-post weld heat treatment, carbon steel piping and equipment should be avoided where necessary equipment should be water washed before steaming out and only low pressure steam should be used for short periods of time to minimize exposure proper design and operation of the injection system is required to ensure that caustic is properly dispersed before Entering the high temperature crude preheat system. Inspection and monitoring. Wet fluorescent magnetic particle testing, alternating current field measurement, and eddy current testing can be effective techniques to detect these surface breaking cracks. Angle beam ultrasonic techniques, shear wave ultrasonic testing and phased array ultrasonic testing can be effective to detect and size cracks. PT or MT can be effective. PT may not be effective for finding tight cracks because the cracks are oxide filled. RT may not be effective in detecting fine, tight cracks. Acoustic emission testing can be used for locating cracks and monitoring crack growth. Severe cracking can at times be identified visually. Related mechanisms Amine stress corrosion cracking and carbonate stress corrosion cracking are two other similar forms of alkaline stress corrosion cracking. Caustic stress corrosion cracking has also been called caustic embrittlement. But this is a misnomer and an obsolete term. Caustic stress corrosion cracking is a stress corrosion cracking mechanism, not an embrittlement mechanism. Summary Description Caustic embrittlement is a form of stress corrosion cracking characterized by surface initiated cracks that occur in piping and equipment exposed to caustic, primarily adjacent to non-post weld heat treatment welds. Caustic SCC in carbon steel, intergranular, in 300 series stainless steel, transgranular, and in nickel-based alloys, either intergranular or transgranular. Temperature range. Operating temperature. Affected metallurgy. Carbon steel, low alloy steels, and 300 series stainless steel are susceptible. Prevention. Cracking can be effectively prevented by PWHT at 1150 degrees Fahrenheit. Upgraded to nickel base alloys. 
proper design and operation of the injection system. Equipment should be water washed before steam out. Inspection methods WFMT, ECT, or ACFM techniques Angle beam UT techniques SWUT and PAUT AET Practice time Question number one Caustic embrittlement is a form of stress corrosion cracking characterized by surface initiated cracks that occur in Answer is A Question number 2 what metals are susceptible and more resistant for caustic stress corrosion cracking? Answer is D. Question number three. What metal is highly resistant to caustic stress corrosion cracking? Answer is A. Question number four. For carbon steel, the most effective means of preventing caustic stress crack corrosion is Answer is A Question number 5 Caustic stress corrosion cracking can be avoided by Answer is A. Question number 6. Caustic embrittlement damage result in. Answer is B. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad and this is his profile. Thanks a lot for watching and please waiting us for the next lecture.